So Gordon Sondland, the Portland hotelier who gave a million bucks to Donald Trump and got a gig as the U.S. ambassador to the European Union, um, I think when it became apparent to him that pretty much everybody who was testifying was blaming him for being the guy who was, you know, one of the three amigos who was making sure that the Ukrainians got screwed if they didn't investigate Hunter Biden. Uh, when he realized that they were going to roll over on him, he decided to get out of the way. And he did a very good job of it. Here are a couple of clips. Uh, this is the first one where he's talking about quid pro quos from his opening statement. As I testified previously, Mr. Giuliani's requests were a quid pro quo for arranging a White House visit for President Zelensky. Mr. Giuliani demanded that Ukraine make a public statement announcing the investigations of the 2016 election, DNC server, and Burisma. Mr. Giuliani was expressing the desires of the President of the United States and we knew these investigations were important to the president. Now, he pointed out in his testimony, went to great lengths to point out that Trump wasn't, or Giuliani, wasn't actually asking for the investigations to happen. Why? Well, because they knew that Hunter Biden had already been investigated, both by the U.S. State Department and by the Ukrainian attorney general. And there was no there there. You know, it, it was, uh, I think stupid that he was on this board and he was paid a stupid amount of money, 50,000 bucks a month to be on the board. Um, it was a huge error in judgment on his part, but there was no criminality there. So that, you know, that's well established. Um, but uh, so, so Giuliani wasn't saying we have to have an investigation. He was saying we want the president of Ukraine to announce an investigation. And the reason for that was because Trump knew that the one thing that shaved three points off Hillary Clinton in less than a week, two weeks before, or a month or so before the election, was when, was when James Comey came out and said, we're investigating Hillary Clinton. We're op reopening the investigation into Hillary Clinton's emails. Boom, she lost three points, just like that. And so Trump was figuring if he could get, you know, the president of Ukraine to come out and say, we're investigating Joe Biden and his son, um, that Joe Biden would lose three points and Donald Trump would won, win re-election in 2020. I mean, the, 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 the math here is quite obvious. Here is the second clip of uh, Gordon Sondland uh, saying essentially the same thing. Was there a quid pro quo? As I testified previously, with regard to the requested White House call and the White House meeting, the answer is yes. Mr. Giuliani conveyed to Secretary Perry, Ambassador Volker, and others that President Trump wanted a public statement from President Zelensky committing to investigations of Burisma and the 2016 election. Mr. Giuliani expressed those requests directly to the Ukrainians. And Mr. Giuliani also expressed those requests directly to us. We all understood that these prerequisites for the White House call and the right White House meeting reflected President Trump's desires and requirements. And once again, Trump wasn't asking for an investigation. He was simply asking for the president of another country to come out and basically trash talk the guy, Joe Biden, that he thought he was going to run against in 2020. Um, it's, it's pretty breathtaking.